What's funny about this review of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is that I had a huge scripted review where I played everything by the book in addition to adding my own personal thoughts into it and I thought that that's the type of review that I wanted to do but after editing it pretty much all the way about 90% done I'm thinking to myself you know what this is maybe not the review that I want to do and I want to talk about this game far more candidly and more off the script than I did in my original review, which had bits and pieces put into there, because I think a formal review for a game like Xenoblade Chronicles 3 doesn't do the game justice more than a month after launch. Now, a formal review was great for people just kind of getting in, but as someone who put 200 hours plus into my playthrough to lead up to this moment about me talking about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and giving my honest thoughts about the game, I feel that this way is a lot better, so you guys can kind of feel my emotion and passion that I have towards this game and exactly how great it is and all of the things that it does so we're going to get into that and so much more with xenoblade chronicles 3 and the shocking thing about this game the thing that i feel needs to be known about it especially for right now and if you're thinking about getting the game but also for future people who watch this video and want to get into the xenoblade chronicles franchise but before we get into that please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're someone new and click that notification bell to get all of my videos first right here on player essence so let's go ahead and jump into it here and i'm not gonna bore you guys with the story because you guys have seen the trailers you guys have seen what happens they're living to fight fight to live you got these three separate warriors on each side so six total between these two great nations that are battling for eternity essentially always just battling and battling and they want to change it they have a fate encounter there's this crazy stone they meet this person that's about to tell them who the real enemy is and it all goes down when they meet up this crazy monster mobius looking thing and you're on the run for your life and on the way you're meeting new heroes you are liberating colonies from this evil grip and you are finding out what the world is about and about yourself growing up and what you want to do with the power of choice so the story is something that i get emotional even talking about it right here to you guys and there's going to be no spoilers whatsoever so don't worry about spoilers at all guys not in the footage or what i'm talking about but the story here was an emotional roller coaster for me it was funny it was sad it was happy it was joyful it was silly it was just everything in between i mean you're going to cry you're going to laugh you're just going to be feeling all sorts of things and i feel that monolith soft with their storytelling has evolved and evolved and evolved and just gotten better and better and better these guys they help out with splatoon right they help out with the legend of zelda they help out with animal crossing they are experts at their craft i think that over the past decade plus since the original xenoblade chronicles all the way now to this point it's accumulation of everything that they've done and you can see it in their writing with the quick and witty type of jokes the different types of personalities it all comes into a boiling point here and a melting pot of various different styles for the writing and for the cutscenes and for so many different things in this game when it comes to the story and the presentation i was constantly blown away by the quality of not only the voice acting which has always been pretty good but also the story and how it intertwines into each character you feel that each character in this game has their own story arc has their own position has their own thought process and feelings and emotions that really just drive you to continue doing all the side quests and continue pushing through the main game so we have to give model soft absolute amazing props here for what they've done with the story of the game they'll keep you playing all the way through there's tons of twists and turns there's lots of roller coaster moments and i will say this my jaw dropped multiple times while playing through this game and just seeing the story so it's something that's one for the ages and honestly my favorite action rpg story of all time i think it's right up there with the best if not the best and i can't sit here and say that i can think of another one when it comes to a franchise and how it's connecting everything 
as good as Xenoblade Chronicles 3. It's just there. There's just something about with what Monolith Soft does with their storytelling and what they do with their gameplay and how it intertwines that just makes it feel special. And this is no exception to that when it comes to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Now, let's get into the presentation of the game because I feel that this is one of the things that sets Xenoblade Chronicles 3 far apart from Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and also Xenoblade Chronicles 2, X, and pretty much all of the other games at this point because the presentation in this game is incredible the cutscenes that you'll see are incredible the quality of those are incredible the music is astronomically good this is like super yasunori mitsuda goat level good sorry if i'm throwing in some slang and stuff in there but there's tons of sauce here there's tons of swag there's tons of juice there's tons of effort and emotion you can tell that they put it all into it mr Yasunori Mitsuda in addition to Ace. These guys played their hearts out and it goes hand in hand with the presentation, the menu music, the UI, the fonts. There are so many different things in this game that really just come together with the presentation and make you say, wow, they did an incredible job on this. And like I talked about before, with the UI being so much better, the presentation being so much better in this game, being able to clearly see the fonts and clearly see everything and never have to kind of squint your eyes in order to see different things like you did in previous Xenoblade Chronicles games really gives the presentation a massive bump and if you're talking about presentation how they actually show the game to you how they invite the game to you combining with gameplay which is what we're going to talk about in just a bit is great the tutorials the tips page all of that stuff Everything that they do to kind of make things just easier for players is great. Wrapped up in this nice musical package that just delivers over and over and over again. And it kind of goes, once again, hand in hand with the graphics. Now, let's talk about this because this is something that's been a big, I would say, controversial point for Xenoblade games, right? They have these huge open worlds, they're great, they're vast, it's awesome, but the resolution always hasn't been the best. Sometimes it's been a bit blurry, sometimes it doesn't look the best, you also have performance issues as well with previous Xenoblade games, and in this game, there is some of that. It's not a perfect game, it's not running at 4K 60, obviously, or even 1080p 60, but what you are getting here is a much improved presentation graphically, because what they're doing here is it's something crazy, they're having some type of up scalar built in to their Xeno engine that they've used that gives a much cleaner look despite not running at a super high resolution. So if you're playing the game in portable mode, you can say goodbye to that blurry Xenoblade Chronicles 2 stuff that was going on. And if you're playing docked, you're going to get a better looking game than what you got with Xenoblade Chronicles 2 as well, which is one of the major issues with that game. It's all been improved here. Once again, not perfect, but also very much improved on the presentation side. So we have to give Monolith Soft extra kudos for actually getting that done because they listened to what people said about Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and even Xenoblade Chronicles 1, even Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. That had some issues on the Nintendo Switch as a remaster of a Wii game, which really shouldn't be an issue. That should have been right 1080p 30 at the minimum, and they even had issues with that. So to see Xenoblade Chronicles 3 get that big budget, get that time and effort for them to put in what they needed to do, it was awesome to see that, and I love it from the presentation standpoint. But all of this stuff is great, right? When you talk about the music, you talk about the presentation, you talk about the story, you talk about all these different things. That's all fine and dandy. But the most important thing when it comes to an RPG is also the gameplay. And I think that that is where I'm focusing. That's where I want to talk about this because Xenoblade Chronicles 3 does so many different things to really just enhance the franchise and put it at a level of polish and quality to what you'd see in a Legend of Zelda or even beyond when it comes to quality of life options and when it comes to just overall polish and shine. It has that Nintendo high quality first party tint to it that maybe you didn't quite get before with previous Xenoblade Chronicles games. It seems like they were given a type of budget to really nail out all the issues 
games that you would love to see with a massive large scale RPG. You now have all the different features in terms of things and they really streamlined it to where you don't have a lot of the annoying things like the ether cylinder management, the weapon management problems, all of that is gone and it ties right into the gameplay. And the gameplay is where this game shines. You have multiple different ways that you can disperse your foes, multiple different enemies to fight that are varying in levels. You have bigger enemies that are out there that you can just fight at higher level and gain more experience. Elite enemies, you also have unique enemies, you have secrets to find. There are so many things that make this gameplay and just finding and battling great. Now, if you've played the previous Xenoblade Chronicles games, you're gonna feel right at home here. It still has the auto battling, but they fine tuned it and tweaked it to perfection here with new skills like the fusion arts, with new things like the Urobudos linking, all of that stuff just creates a really fun gameplay experience. And on top of that, the new thing here, which I absolutely love, and that is the hero system. This makes the game go and it all connects. Like I've talked about with the story and the presentation, the hero system is what Xenoblade Chronicles 2 tried to do but it's done way better because you no longer have a gotcha type of thing. What you have here is heroes that you earn one by one by actually doing side quests, earning your affinity and unlocking those heroes or simply exploring the map and finding and seeking them out. Now, when you get these heroes, you do a special hero quest. And after you've helped them or you fought against them or whatever the case is, they can join your team at any point. They can join up at any point. And now you can actually get their skills in battle. It's an ingenious way for experimentation, different types of builds, and really just having everyone to have their own style of combat and gameplay. And that's really what makes this game go because in Xenoblade Chronicles 3, there are so many different things that honestly just blew my mind when I first saw it. So you have a real connected open world. You have seamless battles in that open world. It doesn't load into any battle screen like Tales of Arise, for example. And as soon as you're done, bam, you're done with the battle and you go off. There isn't any segmented area or type of thing towards boxing you in on normal battles out in the open world. You can just fight. And I think the freedom and the flexibility that this system gives you with the different builds and the classes, with the Uroburos linking, and with various different things that you get within that, multiple different forms between each of the six characters, being able to switch between those characters at any time with the fusion arts and mastering the different classes for your skills that are customizable, master skills, master arts. It sounds really confusing, and I know I'm talking about a lot of different things, but trust me, with the enhanced tutorial, presentation tips and UI you're going to be catching on a lot faster than when you first played Xenoblade Chronicles 1 or Xenoblade Chronicles 2 or Xenoblade Chronicles X and it's explained far better so it creates a more symbiotic and natural experience for playing the game and just makes you want to keep playing till you're done I was hooked to this game for 200 plus hours because of how smooth and because of how good everything was in the battles I think that everything's been in hands from positional attacking to different chain attacks as well how the chain attack works i love the persona type of aesthetic but i do like how they did everything in here even the combo system is great and enhanced as well with having various different combos that you can do from the break topple launch smash break topple days then also burst which is a new one which factors right into strategy as well in terms of quelling the rage of the baddest monsters in the game so it's one of those things that it all just links together it all interlinks together if i'm going to put a pun on this one because it really is that good and like i said it drew me to continue playing the game more and more i like this system a lot more with the quality of life options being able to have the quick menu to where you can easily navigate between maps or between your character to having the streamlined 
item management that was a disaster people don't like to sit there and say it but yes it was a low-key disaster in xenoblade chronicles 1 with all the different ether parts that you got and different weapons you're constantly going through menus all of that has been streamlined not completely perfect with some of the items and the organization but definitely a lot better than what we saw in xenoblade chronicles 1 xenoblade chronicles 2 xenoblade chronicles x so this is something that i highly welcome and really this is all happening because of the experience because of all the various different rpgs and what monolith has been able to do even they said themselves this game is really the build-up it's really the combination of everything that they've learned and you can clearly see it in the gameplay in the combos in the chain attacks in everything that they've done with the combat in this game it's honestly just the xeno combat perfected and i love it for that because of the customization and everything that you can do this is the ultimate form of xeno gameplay and i've never had more fun and that's the important thing here guys more fun in playing a combat style in xenoblade than xenoblade chronicles 3 and the class system with udo Budos and linking this stuff is just incredible and I just want to keep playing even though i'm done with the game and i beat it there's still more to do and there's still going to be dlc and there's going to be a whole new story i mean it's mind-blowing the awesomeness that's just packed into this game and i feel that me talking about it candidly in this type of way is more of a service to how i feel about this game than me just going through in a typical or standard rush review like many many people did when the game first came out playing it on the hard mode really kind of navigating and understanding the combat system, getting my butt kicked a number of times and learning what I needed to do to actually overcome the challenges made me love the game even more, made me want to play even more. And I can't wait to really jump in and get all the extra stuff in the game. And of course the DLC that's going to be coming out with the challenge battles and other things like that this month. October as the time that I'm recording this video, but I'm not a numerical score giving type of person I'm not huge on that, but I know some of you guys want to get that type of score I give Xenoblade Chronicles 3 a recommendation me personally It's a must play must buy must play go out there and get it But if you needed a score, it's gonna get a 10 out of 10 despite some of the flaws with some of the frame rate at times and some of the blurry textures the gameplay has done something that you just don't see for any other action RPG out there. Even with PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series games, some of the stuff that this game does is not even in those. With being able to fight with seven players on the map at the same time with multiple different enemies and also being able to switch between anybody in your party at that time, it is absolutely incredible. <laughs> yes, sometimes, like I said, the resolution can get a little funky there, but it does a good job of recovering. I think that this time, Monosoft did a good job of covering their weaknesses and excelling in their strengths and optimizing the stuff that they didn't do so well before in the previous games. So that's the reason why Xenoblade Chronicles 3 gets a 10 out of 10 for me. There's just nothing else on the market like it. And the story left me absolutely stunned and happy and just emotional in addition to the gameplay being top notch and even more to do you get your money's worth it's worth every single bit there's no reason for me not to recommend this type of game as a must buy or a 10 out of 10 in my opinion when it comes to what i think about the quality of this game so that's my opinion on xenoblade chronicles 3 the game is absolutely incredible go out there and pick it up but i want to hear your thoughts what do you think about the game what are you looking forward to most when it comes to the next chapter for xenoblade or monolith soft let me know in the comment section below all right guys that wraps it up for this video here thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're someone new click that notification bell we'll see you for the next video peace